Hey, Eagle Run 2 3 here. Hey, let me share with you real quick what I've learned about sharpening knives. So, just because I upload videos to YouTube does not mean that I'm an expert. And uh, I definitely recognize that. And I bought this machine just to kind of experiment and learn and jump into knife sharpening. So, I, I actually have a little bit of a background in knife sharpening. Um, one of the things that um, when I was a really young um, child, elementary age, uh, lower elementary school, um, my mom and dad definitely indulged um, some of the things that I was into and I wanted to sharpen knives. So they bought me a little pocket stone and I sharpened my mom's scissors and pocket knives and things like that and kind of just taught myself how to, how to do it. There was no YouTube back then and I probably just read in a magazine somewhere about um, how to do it. I, I, my dad had some knowledge on that. My grandpa had some knowledge on that. So, um, I kind of learned how to sharpen little pocket knives and Swiss, Swiss army knives and things like that. And then, um, one of the things that I learned from my family also is, uh, my family had a, uh, a business and one of the things that it did was they, uh, fixed sewing machines. And, uh, there was a, a part of the business that was repairing sewing machines. And so from just from being around it, I learned a whole lot about that. And one of the things that you have to do um, when you have a little shop like that is you sharpen a lot of scissors. And so we actually had a jig that we used to sharpen a lot of scissors. And so that's something I got good at. What we did back then would actually make me cringe now because uh, we had one stone on a grinder wheel and a scissor attachment that we just spun down it it made sharp scissors, but goodness, I think I could do a whole lot better now. Um, one of the things I'm going to get for this is a scissor attachment. I don't have it. They're out of stock. Um, they, he said he'd have some, uh, Paul over at uh, Tech Studios said they'd have some this spring, so I'll probably check with him uh, here. I don't need them, so I'll, I'll just check with him later on. But l let me tell you what I've learned a little bit. This is actually a stone that, that I used... Um, when, so let me rewind. So what I did in college was I, um, I would fix sewing machines as like a side job. Um, I was in a different city and wanted to make some money on the weekends. And so I set up a table at a fabric shop and would fix sewing machines and sharpen knives. And uh, I actually used this stone to sharpen knives, um, would sharpen kitchen knives and scissors for, uh, old ladies, at the uh, craft store and it made good money on the weekend but again this was all I had and um, while I don't even know the grits of these I could make really sharp um, really sharp scissors and knives with it uh, I could do a whole lot better again now so um, what I've learned over all that and putting all that together is that once the bevel is set on a knife you really don't need to change that this is an unsharpened knife uh, something I got from my uh, mother. I've been sharpening all of my my parents' knives, uh, so she sent me a little package with a, with uh, with these two knives in it. And so I'm going to sharpen these guys up. Um, so one of the things that I've learned is about the bevel. And once that bevel is set, unless you have any nicks or damage to the blade, you don't need to take that bevel. So <clears throat> if there's a nick in this blade which I don't have one in this blade, but if there was a nick in this blade, then we would need to remove metal in order to fix that bevel across the surface of the knife. Um, so in order to do that, we have to take away material in order to do that, which is why you need your coarser stones in order to fix that. But once that bevel is set and you have a knife that you've used for a couple of months, even a couple of years, if there's no damage to it. You don't need to really um, mess with the bevel. So this isn't something that um, you need to go back to your coarsest stones and, and reinvent the wheel here. On a knife like this, realistically, you could, stro um, you could strop this and um, get this thing back to its original sharpness. So unless you have a stone that's over 2,000 grit, you don't need to really even sharpen this blade like with a stone. This blade does not need stoned. Um, this is a, a very dull knife. You can see the ridges on it. 
but the blade has no damage and that edge would come back just with a, a good strop with some uh, with some diamond uh, grit on there uh, this would come back and be super sharp again so um, I'm gonna be building a new strop I had one um, I don't know if it's strop or strope uh, I'm pretty sure it's strop but I think I just said strope um, I'm going to be building a new strop. I've got some leather. I'll show that. I'll do that in another video. But this is one that I would like to actually try out and see if I could just drop this back to sharpness. Now, I actually have uh, 2,000 grit stones. So I'm going to check my, uh, my bevel on here to make sure I got it right. And then I'm going to run this through um, a 2,000 grit and we'll make this guy real sharp again. Okay, this guy does not want to cut. So let's see what we can do. All right, so this stone right here is um, seven five particles. Uh, so this would equate to a 2,500 grit stone. Okay, so now we're going to start working with a little bit of a progression. I'm going to go, um, probably on a small knife like this, I'm going to go about six strokes and then I'm going to flip it. Now I can already feel that that's getting a nice polish on it. So we're going to count this down from six so that we can work that wire back to the middle. All right, now we're gonna go about five or six times. This one will be about two or three times. So you can tell there's been a much better polish on the edge of that. Now remember right here, it would not even get into that paper at all, so. Not bad. A little snag there at the beginning. Uh, this is a knife that would benefit from my strop. 